certain part of his genetics that other people know. So they know it better than I do, right? But there's things I know that I think they don't know. Okay? And one of the things that I've got here, cancer genetics and the poly principle, but there's something else I've been thinking of, and that has to do with crystals. I'm going to draw this crystal again. This is the linear crystal, which is the DNA. DNA is a linear crystal, I'm saying. Whoops. A linear crystal. All right. I have cancer genetics and the poly principle, but we have to add something else. We have to add something. Cancer genetics, the poly principle, and say solid state physics. Solid state physics. We've got to, we've got to add that on because this crystal does something that I think a lot of people don't know. They, they're studying the DNA. Okay, I understand that. They're, you know, they're doing certain things. And, but what they don't maybe think about is how this thing moves. Um, Open or close? Well, it opens and closes, but it doesn't just do that. that let me give it to you this way. If I pull on the DNA or if I exert a force or I, I hit the DNA, I, I say I collide with the DNA in some way, then there may be there may be a signal propagating along this DNA. There may be a signal propagating along this DNA. And in solid state physics, when they talk about crystals doing that, they talk about phonons. Phonons. Yeah, which I thought about only last night or the day before, but I, something like that, was that there could be a propagation of... Do you think everything should follow physics movement? I mean, uh, even in DNA, this kind of a um, yeah. very, very... Small which comes topic. first, uh, physics or medicine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this guy, I asked him a question one time, I said, which do you think is more basic, physics or medicine, and you know what he said? He said, well, medicine, he's a doctor, right? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, why is that? He says, well, because everybody needs a doctor, mm -hmm. sooner or later, right? So then I snapped at him and I said, well, what about the sun? Does the sun need a doctor? Mm -hmm. He says, well, now you're being philosophical. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like, you know, let's get up there and check the sun. You know, yeah, well, see, that's the whole point. Mm -hmm. Physics comes first. Mm -hmm. Physics comes first. Then comes chemistry. Mm -hmm. Then comes whatever, biochemistry, whatever you want to call it. See? But physics has got to come first. And when I talked about this poly principle, I keep talking about that, right? That's pure physics. Now, you don't get you don't get a total explanation of the poly principle when you take, say, biochemistry, even in chemistry, right? You don't get what you get in physics. In physics, they throw all kinds of stuff at you that even the physics majors, like myself, going, oh, that's, see? And even the professors, some of them don't get it. But, but there are some physicists, of course, that know more than others. So that what I'm getting at here is this concept of phonon, or phonon. What are phonons? Quantum mechanical, quantum mechanical, whoops, I'm sorry, mechanical, mechanical, a quantum mechanical impulse, let's say, or a quantum mechanical wave produced that travels on the crystal, see, that, that propagates, propagates. Here. So, in the, 
that once you pull this thing, you know, like a spring, you think of a spring, right? Yeah. And you pull the spring here, and then the, uh, the, um, the, um, what do you call that? Kind of a wave. The, um, disturbance, the wave. right? Oh. Propagates along the length Ripple. of this crystal, see? Just like ripple. Yeah, 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 right. It's the ripple. the ripple. Ripples, yeah, ripples, on, and the medium, the medium, we talk about medium like water, you throw a stone in water, and, you know, and you get, yeah, you get a wind, right, some propagation. Well, the medium is the DNA itself, or the crystal itself, you see. So, do phonons um, have an influence on DNA? Well, I think they do. I'm sure they do, but nobody knows or nobody thinks about it. You know, for example, let me, let's, let's go back to the good old like, carbon, carbon bond, right? I mean, there's a carbon, carbon bond there, right? But when you look at this carbon, carbon bond, what you've got is not a stick. What you've got is a spring. Now what you have is a system that's vibrating. It's vibrating actually around the vibration of 10 to the 14 hertz. That is, what, 10 to the 9 is a billion? And you multiply that by 10 to the um, 10 to the 5, so you've got 100,000 billion times a second. I can't, I can't figure that out. I mean, I... I can see the number, but I, I can't tell you how fast that is. That's pretty damn fast, right? And so you can see this thing vibrating at that frequency, but sooner or later, this stuff is going to fall out. It's going to break. Why does the bump vibrate? The energy, where does it come from? Yeah, it comes from the same thing, E equals H nu. Same idea. There's, 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 um, uh, forget the calculation, but the calculation comes to say, simple quantum mechanics for um, harmonic oscillator. If you solve if you solve Schrodinger's equation for a harmonic oscillator, right? If you solve Schrodinger's equation, right? This is Schrodinger's equation. Yeah. In total. You solve this thing for a harmonic oscillator for this system. And you come up with the frequency. I just forget the I, I didn't have that ready, sorry. But, but but what I'm getting at is there's a spring here. It's not a stick, it's a spring, see? It acts like a spring, see? And all through this crystal, you've got these bonds. There are springs, you see. They're all, you know, they're all hooked together, right? So that when this thing is disturbed here, that disturbance will propagate along the DNA, you see? That's part of, you know, this, they say, well, you know, the DNA, uh, you know, DNA, RNA, protein. Well, DNA reads as well as it, uh, it reads messages, it transmits messages, you see. See, it reads and it transmits. It reads incoming data and it sends out data as well. So, all kinds of, whoops, all kinds of things could be happening along the length of this crystal and like, well, there's billions of these things, you see. So that this is a, Maybe we can use the electricity and uh, electricity current uh, okay, to where is there? initiate the, all the reaction. Oh, I have no idea at this point. <laughs> but you, you, anything, oh, well, I can't say anything, but, but what, huh? No, it's a good idea. But, yeah, well, okay. Well, what I've been doing so far is simply stimulating it with that compound. Right? I mean, I, I've got some results. Right? I got the results which I keep talking about. And last time I talked about the opening and closing of this DNA. I think there's a couple of cases. Case one. Case one would be, well, there's no, there's 
there's no, uh, you, you have no nitro in this thing. There's no, uh, there's no uh, AT, AT, and base the rest, pair. yeah, there's no base pair. So if there's no base pair, the damn thing is collapsed. It can't open because there's no nitro in there to make it open, you see. So if you, you have no opening and closing in the case one. No opening and closing at all. If there's no opening and closing, then there's no, what do you call it? No transcription, right? No transcription. Alright, so if there's no transcription, well, you know, you can, like I said, an equation, DNA, RNA, protein, right? So if this is zero, then this is going to be zero. Zero meaning no opening and closing. Case two, yeah, you have opening and closing, but you got the wrong code. So it opens, but this code is messed up somehow because it's locked this part. Well, it codes a bit, maybe. Now you have the wrong message. Okay. Now when you have the wrong message, well, you're going to have the wrong, you're going to have the wrong protein, I guess. Now, that won't be pro properly made. Now, the case three, case three would be, say, normal operation, right? That would be where you've got what you need and everything is, you know, working properly. Now, I've got another idea. The case four, of course, is what? Case four is operating operating better than normal. Operating better than normal. What does that mean? Superman. That means I'm pumping in, I'm pumping in my compound, and now this is activated. This is activated, and it's kicking out all of the viruses. All of, anything foreign is kicking it out, right? And now, person is actually in a better state of health, they can't get sick. Because now you're in the case four. Whoops. You're in case four, where your DNA is now operating even better than a normal person's DNA would operate. But then everybody's DNA is going to be a little bit different, right? Some people get sick easy, some people don't, right? That's case four. Is there any possibility to have a case five? Oh yeah, sure. But I don't know yet. I, I, haven't, I haven't thought that out yet. Well, because, I, huh? Because I mean, to have a very bad situation, I mean, maybe oh. destroy the all the well, the yeah. DNA. Well, yeah, poison will do that. Right. Yeah. Talk substances, yeah. but yeah. I didn't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the case three. Three and K is four. The rest of it I don't care about. Well, I mean, I care about it. But. So, where does this put us? Well, we're still uh, talking, say, about opening and closing. Right? There it is again. So we want it. We say, well, it opens. Okay. And again, like I said last time. Flying apart, okay. It's flying apart, and again, it's flying apart because of this three nitros coming together. 